Hello everybody and welcome back to Awaken Youths. I am Sahil Kandoi and today we are going to talk about something very significant. How to meditate. When we hear meditation, there's a lot of things that comes into our mind because there's so much of confusion regarding meditation as to how to meditate. There are so many ways people say that there is to meditate. Samarpan, Dhyan, Chakra meditation, color meditation, visualization, manifestation. There are so many terms, so many words, so many jargons that comes into your mind the moment you hear meditation. But guess what? Let us go to the roots of meditation. Let us go to the founder of meditation. And that is Buddha. Buddha was the first master who emphasized on the importance of meditation. He was the master who found the path and concluded that meditation is the way to enlightenment. And he says that if you want to really reach an epitome of enlightenment, or spirituality, you must go within yourself. Be a light onto yourself. So now, if we really want to find the root of meditation, we must look back to Buddha. Because he was the master of meditation. He found all the wisdom within himself by meditating. So now the question is, what did he do to meditate? What was his meditation and my friend his meditation was very simple and I guess that's what people cannot digest can it be this simple yes meditation in the true form is the art of non-doing it's not something that you do it's something that you allow it's very much like sleep you really can't do it you have to let it happen you can only create the conducive environment for it to happen. For example, you can lie down, switch off the light, keep it silent, and eventually you fade into your sleep. But do you know when you do it? Do you realize when you fall into sleep? No, right? Can you ever remember which exact moment you fell into sleep? Can you? No, because it happens to you. Sleep happens to you. The same way meditation happens to you. We have to know how to create that environment and leave the rest to happen. So my friend, coming to the real point is that what Buddha taught was also called as Anapanasati or Vipassana. Anapanasati means Ana in its in Pali language. Anapanasati means Ana and Pana. Ana is the in-breath, Pana is the out-breath. Anapanasati Sati means becoming one with it. So, feeling the breath softly moving in and softly moving out and letting go of everything that is happening around you is all you need to do. The most important part here is to be with your natural breathing, is to not control the breathing. Because guess what? Your body knows exactly how much it needs to breathe. It knows exactly the pace it needs to breathe in. So let the body do its work. You just settle down and become an observer of the breath. Observer of the breath softly moving in. Softly moving out. Just become one with it. Relax into your breath. It is something that you totally relax into. It is not something that you do with your mind. It's not something that you have to focus and concentrate on. It's just something that you have to relax yourself into. It is the best chill time you can have with yourself. So to make it easy, three steps. Step number one, relax. It's like having a cup of tea or that cup of coffee that you enjoy every day in the morning. You feel awesome, you feel, you feel kicked and you feel pretty relaxed when you're doing it. The same way goes with the meditation. Step one is to relax, is to chill out, is to find a comfortable spot for yourself. If you can, uh, Fold your hands and legs, you know, you have to either cross your legs like that and hands like this or like this, whichever is most comfortable to you. Sit, you can take a back support if you wish to. Do not worry about the spine. It is not very important that it should be straight all the time. 
You know, if you're too focused on your body, then you cannot really let go. So forget about the body. Forget about the body. Just relax. Keep yourself pretty relaxed. Fold your hands and legs. That is step number one. You create, you fold your hands and legs because you create a grid. Because when you receive the energy through meditation, it's supposed to stay within you so that you can harness the energy for your future day, for your coming time. You don't want to lose the energies. Energy is like money in the spiritual world. So you want to gain as much as possible and spend as less as possible. So to, to retain all the energy that you receive in your meditation, you create a grid. You cross your legs, you cross your hands. Step number one, you relax. Step number two, as I said, very important. You be and experience and feel the natural breathing. You feel the breath softly moving in and softly moving out. Softly moving in and softly moving out. Do not try to control the breathing. Let the breathing happen by itself. Let the body breathe. You don't have to breathe. I mean, right now I'm talking, but I do not have to consciously breathe because my body knows when to breathe. So become one with the body and just allow the body to breathe by itself. Let the breath happen by itself. Relax. Step number three. Surrender. Allow. Let go. After you close your eyes, after you start feeling your breath, that's all. Your job is done. Just stay with the breath as much as possible. Just stay with the breath as much as possible. Feel the breath. It's not a mental exercise. It's not something that you have to concentrate upon. Feel the breath. Feel the softness of it moving through your nose, the warmth of it when it's coming out. Feel the sensations in your nose when it's going in and it's coming out. And with every breath, tell yourself to relax, allow and surrender. So, that's all. The third step is just to allow. A lot of things might happen when you're meditating. You might encounter a lot of things when you're meditating. Whatever happens, do not open your eyes. Just let them happen. Let them process itself. Because when you meditate with yourself, all the unprocessed things that needs to come out, surface itself, will start coming out by themselves. You really don't have to do anything. Just allow. Just allow. So the third step is to just allow. Try this for 15 to 20 minutes to start with every day. Give 20 days, 20 minutes to yourself. You can play a background music if you wish to. There's an amazing uh, music of yellow brick cinema. If you just type 15 minutes meditation in YouTube, the first uh, read audio is, is the best that I suggest for beginners. If you just play that, it'll be very soothing. Close your eyes and practice this. Do this for 20 days and see how your life changes in front of your own eyes. This tool can transform you completely. Your inner and the outer reality. Because everything begins with you and if you change your inner reality, if you start meditating every day, everything around you changes. It's one magical tool you can use to completely transform your life. And this is all you need to do. Thank you so much. Please try and let us know how you felt about it. If you liked it, then please share in your comment how you felt about it. What more can we do to bring our wisdom to you? Please like and share this video so that more people can learn how to meditate. This is the greatest and the best gift you can give to anybody. So share and subscribe to our channel because we're going to be coming up with a lot more videos to learn from each other. This is Sahil Kandori and this is Awakened News. See you again. Thank you.